No more me dobbits. 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 No more dob. No more dob. No more dob. Aloha. Welcome to Puna Honganji Buddhist Temple, Wednesday Dharma night. Do you know what this is? What you're seeing now? You're seeing something color of yellow. Hmm. Is that all you're seeing? Anything else you see? Hmm. But if I see this uh, picture or screen, I can see something else too. But usually, of course, what we are seeing is uh, only yellow color. But if I do in this way now, you, can, you may see it differently. Yeah? You, can, you are now seeing uh, stars. Yeah, you can see six stars. Yeah, actually the stars does not simply appear suddenly Actually, those stars are there, like this way. Yeah, looks like a star disappears, but truth is because that is the same color. Looks like suddenly we cannot see, but actually, truth is it is there. If I go back to in this way, yeah, in this way, you see, yeah, star is there, but simply we cannot see it. So the poet, Mrs. Mrs. Kaneko said in this way, you can't see them, but they are there. Unseen things are still there. Yeah, stars, we thought it's only yellow color, but truth was, there was a star. Simply, we cannot see, but something we cannot see are actually still there. We may say uh, love, yeah, we say love, I love you, love. Love, we cannot see, we cannot touch, but we know it is there. 
we can feel it or we can experience it through our words or a gift or hug. No, we know love is there or wind. We cannot see wind, but we know wind is there through seeing the trees and then branches are moving or by feeling the wind in our gentle Hawaiian breeze in our body. We can feel it. We know oh, there is wind. So in this area, there are so many things. Although I, we cannot see it, but it is there. Nowadays, uh, we are hearing the we need peace, happiness, harmony, or hope. Because now we don't have a uh, hope. But if we apply this uh, story of the yellow and then stars, hope, peace, harmony, happiness is there in front of us. But somebody is cover it with a certain color so we cannot see it anymore. Who is that? Who is covering? and then blocking us from seeing it. Indeed, that is our human nature of anger, hatred, violence, dislike. Those mind is we are causing ourselves not to see peace and then harmony. Yeah? Harmony, peace, hope are there. But due to our those eyes of ignorance, we cannot see it. Yeah, if we have a glasses of the angry, anger, everything looks like angry. If we have a glasses of hatred, every person looks like the person we don't like. But how about if we do have a glasses of gratitude? Everything looks different. Yeah? So here Buddhism is existing to help me to realize the way of how I see things and then people. And it's not a thing I can do by my own power. Yeah? Because if we try to see and then examine myself through me, you know, yeah, it's not, it's, it's so difficult. Why? Because we want to see ourselves in a good way. Yeah? Nobody wants to be called, you are ignorant, you are wrong. We want to be, try to do our best, be better, yeah? But again, if we don't realize what kind of glasses I do are wearing, we continue to see things only in the way I want. And then we cannot see there is already truth there. But we ourselves putting a cover, blanket. But still we are searching, searching. But once these glasses are transformed, we can find hope already here. So stars, one day I went to the one of the musician, the name is uh, Yuri. In his song, there is uh, one of the phrase are in this way. Clashing tens and then hundreds of times, a light from tens and then hundreds of years ago by the time the stars themselves have forgotten about it, they reach us. Yeah, for in the night time, when we see the stars, we may say, it's so beautiful. But we learned yeah, the, star, the light of the stars is uh, already, it was in the past. What we are seeing today is uh, actually occurred way in the back. Now that the light is uh, coming to our eyes, yeah? But the, the, this word said there, yeah, even the stars may or, already forget the eruption or the burst or like uh, shines upon lights. The star itself forget because it may be already many years ago. But the light is uh, coming to our eyes. We may apply, yeah, you have uh, such an experience like uh, Suddenly, yes, uh, one person come to see you and they said, this is a gift for you. I want to say thank you to you. But you don't know this person. Excuse me, do, I know, do we know each other? 
the person said, "Maybe you don't remember me, but when the back in the past, you did this to me. It helped helped me a lot. Because of you today, I'm here. So I want to say thank you to you. Please take this." We may feel, oh, I don't remember. Did I do that? Oh, okay, but、well, thank you anyway. I'm happy you're now now finding、uh, peace and then doing well. Thank you. Yeah. In the past, we may did some action that we may already forget about it, but later, what we did like a seed blooming in the future can be good way, bad way. Yeah. We forget our what we did, but impact can happen any time. But in this case again, stars, the light we are seeing so beautifully, the star itself already forget. But by seeing the bright, beautiful stars, we feel in a way peaceful, or we feel so beautiful. Still, we can receive the beauty of the light, enjoy it. Then. What do you think if there is a light that had an intention and never forget? Intention is a truly reaching to me. We receive it, we enjoy it, and then the purpose of the light is to be received, to be seen by me, by you. Amida Buddha it is said that. Infinite life and infinite light. Infinite life also symbolizing past, present, or future, any time, forever, forever, even before we are born, even today, even after we passing away, forever. Infinite life. Infinite light is a、uh, every place. Nothing can stop it. Every place and any time, whenever you are. Whatever situation you may be in, this light, infinite, nothing can hinder its working. And then this Amida Buddha said to have a twelve lights, and they are immeasurable, boundless, unhindered, unequaled, light lord of all brilliance, pure, joyful, wisdom, constant, inconceivable. Beyond speaking, surpassing sun and the moon. So there is a light is only one light. But to explain what kind of virtue, what kind of characters, Amida Buddha's light has, it is described in twelve ways. But one light, but a different perspective. So this light is we call it Amida Buddha's compassionate light. Has a intention and then purpose. What is that? That is a light of loving kindness, the bright wisdom that dispels the darkness of ignorance which we do have. Yeah, I show the picture of the stars and then yellow color. Yeah, first we thought there is not no stars, but truth was simply we cannot see it, but it is there. And I said that in our human life too, often times we do have a. Mind of like, don't like, based on my convenience or situation, judgmental mind or ego attachment. The, the, that also causing us to going through feeling of anger, jealousy, frustration because life goes as it is, but we are wishing no life should go as I want. That kind of our blind passion, this. Amida Buddha's light has a power, nurture or dispel it, and then guiding us to see things not only always in the way I want to do, try to see differently. That is the power of the light. Also, light of compassion, offering us. Yeah, when we feel so dark, hopelessness, and we don't know what to do, we don't know where we should go. Yeah, by having a single light, yeah, we can receive, see the our surroundings where we are, and then give us a heat and then、uh, comfort. And by having a together on our hand, we can go again, start again. Also by having a 
light in a certain direction, we know where to go. And this light guiding us, come here, calling us, come here, take refuge this light, take this path. We may be afraid. Should I try? Well, we don't know. But uh, there are so many causes and conditions, other people, things guiding us. Take this path. In this case, uh, that is a path of Namo Amita embrace of Buddha's compassion wisdom, which our founder, Shinran Shoni, is sharing. Shinran Shoni never telling me, telling you, you have to take that path. Just take it. Rather, his attitude is, I follow this path. I found comfort, joy and then peace and then hope, which has been here in my life, but I couldn't see it because of my blind passions. But now I found great embrace. So I want to share it. So I'm the just the one who listened to Shinran Shonin's words and then touched by his life. I'm just following and then found comfort. Therefore, I'm sharing instead of teaching you, hey, you have to go there. Rather, we are sharing, let's go together. Still, we are going through so many things in our life, but receiving the, this light, we are enabled to follow the certain direction. We can see where we are now, that we can avoid taking the bad action, but try to will be cultivated. The heart and mind of entrusting ourselves to Amida Buddha, to the, the direction of the light. So our founder Shinran Shonin said in this way, the light of compassion illumines us from afar. Those beings it reaches, it is taught, attain the joy of Dharma. So take refuge in Amida, the great consolation. Yeah? The light of compassion illumines us from afar. Yeah? Could be Amida Buddha's light can be in a altar or a far from us. But that light there, yeah, like a star, truly reaching out to us. And differences of stars may not remember. But this light has a working and the purpose and the intention that is for the sake of me as a light reaching out to me, my life, and then be with me. Although afar from me, but still it is at the same time with me. Yeah, Having a light with me. Also having a light in the pure land, enlightenment. So I can see that connection. Then that connection occur in our heart. It is called mind of awakening, changing, interesting heart. Whatever I may go on through, Amida Buddha's compassion, wisdom, grasping me and then open my eyes so that I may see the beauty of life. So therefore, including myself, let us seek and then realize, indeed here, right here, right now, we are receiving the great light of compassion and wisdom. Could be we may feel where is the hope, where is peace, harmony, it's true. We may have to cultivate in our society, in our family. But at the same time, in our individual life, we can find already the peace and the harmony right here, right now, when we encounter this bright light of Amida Buddha's embrace, compassion and wisdom, and touched by it. Everything begins with me. Acknowledging I do have a attachment desires, my ego, my way, me, 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 me. Acknowledging that bright light of compassion, wisdom, soften such my hard headed. Try to share loving kindness guided by Amida Buddha's compassion, then, which is a spreading little by little. We can remember, even when we feel the darkness. There is a bright light of Amida Buddha's compassionate calling every single person who are going through things. They are never alone in that embrace. And then we are with them in this Amida Buddha's embrace, which universally working to liberate 
all people from suffering and then working to bring true peace and happiness every single person. Thank you. 